Oh, gosh, good question. Um, well, everybody else's moment seems to be the bag scene, all right, which I really like a lot, where they're arguing about not being able to see out of the holes uh, in the bag. Um, but frankly, I actually think my favorite comedy moment in it is the Don Johnson moment when he's trying to explain uh, to the slave girl uh, that works at Candyland um, uh, uh, how to treat Django that Django is black, but he's a free man, and she doesn't quite understand uh, what he means. And she goes, oh, so you mean you want me to treat him like white folks? No, that's not what I said. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I, well, that's actually one of the things that I've always loved about spaghetti westerns uh, in general, was the fact that the characters, the costumes almost have a comic book panache. All right, in uh, uh, one annual you know, characters were allowed to be dirty and filthy in a way that they, uh, they weren't doing in Westerns in like the early 60s at that time. Later they did it, but not, not so much in the early 60s. But I always liked the fact that uh, 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 the Western heroes and even the villains, they almost, they almost look drawn. You know, they, 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 they have a, a comic book graphic novel kind of quality to them. In fact, even the, uh, Sergio Gabucci, who did the original Django, he was actually inspired, the image of, of the character of Django pulling the coffin was actually inspired by something he saw once in a comic book. And uh, I wanted, uh, uh, in particular, uh, 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 Jamie Foxx as Django to have that kind of quality. But, you know, there's, there's uh, the blue boy outfit he wears, but then there's even Django's just, re you know, regular, uh, uh, regular Django outfit. He had the green jacket, the brown hat, and everything. There's just like a, there's a panache to it. Or as Stephen would say, panache. <laughs>